advantage of that. It's always such a nice thing just to make that money go a little bit farther, stretching it out a little bit. Um, and by the way, lots of great things happening as well on hsn.com, 24 hour craft event. Maybe you've missed something because if you have missed it, then go and see some of the things we've been showing you all day, our fabulous today special from the one and only Anna Griffin. And look at what else is coming up. Columbus Day, gonna be a huge, huge weekend for us. Biggest deals of the entire month, four days of flex pay and special pricing. And we are talking about HP. I'm gonna be with Wolfgang Puck Saturday night, 9 to 11 p.m. So I hope you will join me. We have an outstanding Columbus Day weekend planned for you. So hope you will spend some time with us. But we're gonna continue on now with our show because we have another very special guest joining us. Amber Kemp Gerstel is joining us. And do you just love her in that green? Well, we kind of, I mean, we got a color uh, thing going on. We, here. Got, we got a color, color thing, but I want your color. I've got color <laughs> envy going on right now. Because that green, is green so with envy? Beautiful. Green with envy. <laughs> I, maybe that's where it came from, okay? Because that is the perfect holiday green. Thank you. And we are really going to talk about some colors because we're talking about Wash. watercolor washies, Washi. okay? And we've got the washies. You're going to get 20 packs Look of tape, yeah. $21.95, and you're going to get two flex payments on that. This is the lowest price ever, Amber. And this is an amazing, amazing deal yeah. because... You know, as crafters, we love to have everything in a rainbow arrangement. We want every color so that we can have every option once we start crafting. So mm -hmm. this gives it to you. Washi is sort of like the new paper for crafters. It's just a must-have basic that you can use for a ton of different uh, projects. So we're going to take a look. So this is everything that you're getting. You're getting t uh, 20 rolls of washi. You're going to get 10 packages, each one with two different widths. You're going to get a total, I believe each one is 26 feet in length, but that's a total of over 500 feet of washi. That's a lot of washi. I think you're going to be just fine with your washi for quite some time once you have this in your collection. Trust me. And I'd love to show you some of the samples and some of the projects that we have going on. Okay. You know, we were talking some, um, when I, before I came out about what can you do with washi? Well, the answer is you can do just about anything. One of the things we talked about was labeling. So Beth was talking some about, you know, creating labels with the punch to get organized. Well, mm -hmm. what about using washi to label some of your, you know, your beloved charger? Like mine? Who, yeah, <laughs> mine, do not touch. Hands I, <laughs> off. <laughs> exactly, hands off my charger. You can also, when you're going to your next crop event, that, t you know, Beth was just on with her punch and I have my own. I don't want her trying to snag my punch so I'm gonna put some washi tape on it, right? Now let's get to the paper crafting because I know that's what you guys are so excited about. One of the things you can do is just create some simple stripes with washi tape. Just wrap it around and it tears really easily. And as you can see, we call it watercolor washi because it has that kind of faint watercolor quality. It doesn't have like a, a, um, a standard st staple mm -hmm. pattern on it. It really has different variants of shades. So it's really beautiful and it fades into the paper beautifully. It's almost the thickness of tissue paper, I would say. And so you're gonna just, I like to use it for stripes. You're gonna just keep going and going and going. And I'm gonna I show you. that orange. Oh, the orange, I mean, that really truly does look mm -hmm. like watercolor, it right? It does. And so if you're pretty. not so much into watercolor, you know, you're it looks not so like you drew it. it with chalk. It really you know, does. To get that kind of effect. It really, really does. So you can do those that stripe pattern in here. Look at all of the stripes together. Wow. I mean, do, do you just not want to sing when you see this? It's I beautiful. The silver yeah. is going to be so pretty. You have purple. Look at the blue. The blue, the royal blue. Then we have that teal blue with that kind of geometric pattern. The green, the yellow, the orange, again, that you said you love so much. Mm -hmm. Red, which you'll, of course, be using during the holiday season. This is like a pink violet. And then, of course, gray down at the bottom. So those are all the colors. And again, over 500 feet of that. Wow. Look at the colors. And then the designs. And think of all the ways you're going to use it. I love what you've done with some of your pages here. One of the things I'm doing now is, oh, this paper's too thick. There we go. It's creating a tag. Just, sure. And here, I have a beautiful washi tape finish on the bottom there for a quick tag that I made in just a few seconds. On these samples, look at this. That beautiful kind of spectrum like look with rainbow, the washi tape. Yeah. And something like this will take you all of maybe five seconds to create with these beautiful washi tapes. You're creating the look of hand stroked paint brushing without any of the work of having to do it. Use it around the house even. 
What about your uh, light covers? How much would your kids love oh, to have light sure covers that look that. like <laughs> And you know what? When you go to buy those decorative light covers, right. yeah, you'll spend that holiday price right there. Exactly. I mean, that, and this things is are crazy. so much more fun. And the easy thing about washi is it peels off so easily. So when you if you're just renting, it's like, yeah, right, exactly. it's not a problem. Take exactly. it off. Your renter, your landlord won't be mad at you. But you can peel this right off and you won't leave any residue. I'll show you right now. So I'm going to peel this off. Yeah. That is just fine. No, no problem, no residue. So it's a great tape to use for that. I love it on the craft. I didn't think about this, but when I saw it, I was like, oh my goodness, mm -hmm. are you kidding me? The cuteness of it all. The, the way that it kind of, you still see that craft coming through the paper or the, the washi, but you still have the look of it as well. Beautiful. And you that, that white writing just makes it all pop. Again, using it for cards. Now this one. How fun. A little mini banner. So How about putting that on top of a cake? Mm -hmm. You know, you're having a cake and doing it in different colors to, to fit the theme of your party. Just fold that washi tape right over and you're gonna create a banner in a matter, matter of seconds. Look how much you're getting. I mean, this is a huge selection right here. So you're gonna get how many rolls? A total you're of You're getting a total rolls? of 20 rolls. 20 yes, rolls. 20 rolls. Because each package has two rolls. And each each package has two rolls, two different widths, and two different patterns. So you really are getting a huge, huge variation. Assortment. Exactly. Okay. So this represents all of the entire designs that you're getting here right now? Exactly. Here? That is exactly okay. what you're going to receive. Look at all the different ways you're going to be able to use this. Beautiful designs. These are different. These add so much personality. This truly adds that art, artistic touch, don't you think? It really does. You know, that a lot of us just, I, I don't have it. I, I have no <laughs> no talent whatsoever when it comes to art. My, my nephew we got all of that. We crafters love our washi. Right now, I'm just decorating this little treat bag very quickly. And the nice thing is, you know, I've found that when I'm giving away treat bags or something to a friend, I need some way to close it in a mm -hmm. cute way. But... I don't want to put a staple in it because that's not going to be cute. I don't want to put scotch tape on it because that's not. also not very cute. But just put a quick little piece of washi on the top and, you know, you've closed it up in a really sweet and thoughtful way but without actually putting much time into it. You've done it really quickly. You can use it to dress up your envelopes. You know, one of the things I like to do is take it, put it across the top, the top of an envelope, halfway, and then fold it over. And you almost have that look of an old school, um, you know those air airmail envelopes mm -hmm. that, that um, used to have the stripes all around the edges? You can do that very quickly and very easily. It's so fun to craft with washi and it's super, super easy to make. Easy, and it's so easy to work with. It doesn't stick to your fingers. I love, 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 absolutely love. The yeah. idea. Yeah. That's You're going to have your own you'll ideas. You'll use it for you'll stuff use all it, around your house. You'll use it everywhere. Absolutely.